Okay, I have this face right now, and you're about to have it because we've got some creepy crawlies for Halloween. Jared is here from the Animal World and Snake Farm, and you brought one of your friends. That's right. <laughs> this is a uh, Mexican red knee tarantula. Oh. And uh, this is obviously one of the, the animals that we would have out there that would freak a lot of people out. Yeah. But um, as you know, one of my favorites. I know, you're a reptile and snake guy. I, I tend to like the animals that other people are scared of. Oh, okay. Can I, will it be nice to me? I, she certainly should. Let's okay. see if she'll uh, I don't know. swap hands Does she like here. to go face forward? There we go. All right. Oh. We're, we're real slow with her because the, those hairs that cover her body mm -hmm. are actually used for her to feel her way around. So oh. if I touch too hard, it'll kind of freak her out a little bit. But oh, okay. Don't kind of a, a scary feeling, huh? You know what? Yes, because this thing is huge, and I would like to give it back to you right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you did great. That was very brave of Yay. you. Yay. All right. So I'm not moving, not moving. Is it gone? Uh, she is gone. Okay. All right. Huh, okay. What else do you have over here that's All right. quite we, as scary? What's in here? Those are baby tortoises, and oh. they're obviously not too creepy, but since they were hatching out of their eggs this morning, Can I, pick I one decided, up? absolutely. Okay. Hello, little turtle. Okay, you know I had a turtle in my yard the other day? It was way bigger than this. That is the same kind. Oh, those are is... baby sulcata. As a matter of fact, oh, if you look cute. underneath, she still has oh, her umbilical cord there. Oh, that is creepy. That's right. So even inside of the egg, animals do have an umbilical cord. Oh, Jared. <laughs> <sighs> Pretty neat, huh? And, and it's hard to imagine Go these back. little guys growing up <laughs> to be 200 pounds. I know. That thing is huge. Okay, look, you're just so cute right there. Okay, it's cute that way, but then you turn it over, and that grossed me out real bad. <laughs> okay. And, and just when I noticed things were hatching, <laughs> I, like, I, Let's bring these. I, I peeked at the bearded dragon eggs, and we had a few more coming out of their do eggs this morning Do they have umbilical cords as well. attached to them? Uh, they sure do when they first come out. This one who just he's, came out, she's, he's actually still connected in there. Oh, he's connected to his little egg? That's right. Oh, okay. And, so uh, this is a baby right here? Mm -hmm. Eventually it'll turn and orange. And in about like a this. year, you'll have a big bearded dragon. Hi, just big like bearded this dragon. Girl here. Can I pet her? Sure. Hello. Oh, you look nice. This is not creepy. No, you know, <laughs> and, and when people see these guys no. just on TV or in a book, it, they're like, ugh, you know, that is a creepy animal. But when you see them up close and you see actually how cool they are. Lizards are friends. They actually have some personality to them and everything. Okay. all so. right. Now, all of these guys you can see at the Animal World and Snake Farm. And I know during Halloween you kind of switch things up and uh, do a lot of live shows with the creepy crawlies. De definitely. That thing. We, we always have, like, this spider ball python here. Why are you handing it to me? Because I know you're brave and <laughs> okay. you can't handle her. <laughs> But oh. these are just a couple of the different animals you can come out and get a picture with for Halloween uh, during our creepy crawler show. This is heavy. Things, like, so. look at over here, Roy. Look at my muscle flexing. Do you see that? <laughs> I know. It's a tiny flex because this is a heavy snake right here. <laughs> what is this one's name? Uh, she doesn't really have a name. Snakey. That's we'll go with right. Snakey. Okay, right. what do you have over there? Uh, this is a ghost hunter and milk snake. A who? A ghost hunter? A ghost Honduran. Oh, a Honduran. <laughs> right, and it's just a, a color variety of the Honduran milk snake. And okay. Since it's called a ghost, I figured it'd be a good one to bring for it is a, good a, one a for Halloween, Halloween I think. episode. Okay, here, have him back. All right. Okay. Huh. I passed all the creepy crawlies. I know, so, and so you do as get. As a surprise, I get something absolutely. cute. Absolutely. Okay, Jessica. Get over here. Bring that thing over here. <gasps> what is that? This is Chewy. Chewy. Chewy is our kinkajou boy. Oh, hi, kinkajou boy. He's not real sure what's going on. <laughs> He's smiling a little bit. He has yeah. like one of those animal smiles. Does he like yeah, bananas? He, he does like bananas. Can I hold him? Maybe. If he comes to you, oh, yeah. Okay. Let me Let's just see if he here. wants to climb up on your shoulder. There you go. The animals from the animal world and snake farm really in do, uh, enjoy my hair. Yes. They do. They yeah. are always in your hair. They are. on new hairstyles when we're here. Yes, this is true. Okay, <laughs> come back. There you go. Oh, he hi. does have a prehensile tail, so he may wrap it around your neck if he doesn't fall. That's fine. Now, he is not creepy, but he is a creature of the night, right? <laughs> he is. He, he is. is nocturnal, absolutely. Um, he's in the family with raccoons and kawatamundi, so it's pretty uh, common across the board in their family. This is hurting my, my, my legs down here. <laughs> He's grooming your hair. You feel free to stand up. <laughs> yeah, okay. don't be afraid of him afraid falling. Of he does have a prehensile tail. He is uh, partially arboreal, so he'll spend point. most of his Hi, time in trees. Baby. 
Oh so he God. does all right with that I kind of know, stuff. We're buddies. I'm gonna give you Smart kisses. Sweetie. I like this little one. Can I see her <laughs> at the Animal World in Snake Farm? You can. Yeah, definitely. Especially definitely. on Halloween, he'll be out for a show. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the shows that you guys do mm -hmm. because they're a lot of fun. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's not your your normal just educational show. We're we're about entertainment as well and giving you an experiment or uh, experience <laughs> you're going to remember. There's such as this. Uh, we do have a right? lot of hands-on opportunities and when you touch an animal like this or or get a big snake around your neck or just something that it's that's fun. that's hands-on, you're going to remember like, it. Are you so going that's somewhere? what we're all about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here, grab her, would you? Come on, big guy. You're just so sweet. I love you. Oh, she wants to stay with me. Hot ta -da! <laughs> Yay! Can I be part of the show? I know. Right? See, you're, you're my so new friend. I know. This is too sweet. I Thank love that you. there's always the fun experience, you know? Not only can you roam around and look at everything and learn about all the different animals, but there's so many different shows where you can get up close and personal with the animals as well really sets you guys apart. Oh, definitely. Uh, and we also do birthday parties. It's a big thing out, out there right Are now. Are you with available this good in weather, January? So. We're going to hey, find yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank Happy you. Halloween. Take these friends back with you to the Animal World and Snake Farm and share them with all your guests. You can find out more about everything that's happening at the Animal World and Snake Farm by checking them out online. You can see the website there. They're also on fa Facebook. They're in New Braunfels, just off of I-35, and the phone number if you've got questions, 830-680-9270.